up YouTube, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vendor here with Luis again with his Virtual World Deck Profile. Let's get into it. Alright, so Virtual World, uh, three Lulu, Heart and Soul deck, three GGs, three Lily, and three Lalo. All these are mini gazelles that do something. This one adds from grave, this one searches a card, this one foolish burials, and this is reborn. The non-gazelle uh, is Nya Nya. Uh, and she's broken too because uh, when you summon a level 3, she gets special from the grave as a tuner and then gets banished. And then when she gets banished, uh, she lets you put back cards into your deck. So it's good with your pot of desires. Uh, hand traps, 3 Ash, uh, 3 Nibiru, and then 3 Skullmeister. I thought it was going to be a lot of mirror matches, so this card hits the mirror match. It hits Frank Kids, Phantom Knight. It was alright. I, did, I summoned this to break a dragon board because it was funny. And yeah. Uh, upstart, 39 cards is best. This deck already struggles with consistency, even though it doesn't seem like it. Sometimes, if you can't get started, like you're just going to pass. Uh, e Telly, it's a starter. If you open any of the guys, you can just E Telly, Nyanya, or Lulu, and then get started. Three Quinlan and three Kowloon. This card is broken. When you go second, you either put the trap or you put this to bait out on the gate, or you put the trap and the trap is broken. And then this card is amazing. Target a monster, negate it, or if it's engraved, you can banish to search any of your virtual worlds. And then three desires. You need to draw cards because, like I said, it's hard to get started in this deck, but at least with this, it helps. And then the one called by the grave. That's all right. Which shows I have more copies. Traps, I played three Tucci. This card's insane. Like, once you're playing this card, six on board, it's over. You just, like, it doesn't even matter what you make. You don't even have to make VFD against the control deck. You can just make other oh, synchros in this in its game because they can't deal with it. And the last one, Skill Drain. This deck, all the monsters activate and resolve in hand. So you can just under Skill Drain. You just like add like you activate all these effects, add, dump, whatever. And you just make big break big level nines and the level nines on this skill gen are insane. Like they're not gonna win. Uh the extra deck. I played Cloud Castle. Chen Chen, Krog, Vermilion for my level nines. Uh these are all you need. This is really good because you can like stick one on board, like normally this is the first one you stick, and then if they Nibiru you, you can just make this and rebound this and still make VFD. So that's how you play around Nib, you just try to make this before the fifth summon, and then try to make VFD, and then when they Nibiru you, you just make this and then bring it back, and continue. Uh, the, the, the Synchro Sixes, uh, I play Stardust Charge. Let's get a draw card. Coral, this one's nice because it's a tuner. And when it goes to Grave, it draws a card as well. And it lets you out bat like, cards, so you just discard and destroy a card. Uh, Jeju, this card is also good because it lets you, like, it's a virtual card, so you can make it and then start playing. It also just banishes cards from the grave to send a card in the field to the grave. And then the last one I played was this one. The Infernity Doom Archman. This is cool. You make this, bait tile negate, and then you can make this or this draw and pop cards. So it lets you like play into the board more easily with this. Uh, with the rank the the eggsies. Uh, the rank threes I played Jaja Break Sword. Uh, this one's really nice, Alts Dragoon. It's a virtual world card too, so it gets you started. And then this one's nice because it's Break Sword. Popping cards is pretty good. Uh, rank sixes. I just play the Beyond, so it gives you two outs to the Dragoon by playing both. This one's nice, summon, make everything zero, attack over something. Then you go into this. The Gaia Charger, and then once you do that, you make the Zeus. And you send their whole board away. <laughs> and then have also two materials on the Zeus. 
and the last car that's probably going to get banned in December is BFD. Powerful car. Crippling Very car. Powerful. This should have been banned a while ago, but Konami keeps forgetting stuff. Side deck. Three Gold Stokers. It's really good against Zodiac. Really good against Infernoble. It's decent against Dragon Link, but it's not the best against them. But those are the decks that are prevalent. It hits a Lost World too, so you can hit the Dino matchup. Uh, three Lancia. This card is insane right now. It's the Mirror match. It hits Dragon Link. It hits Dino. There's a lot of decks that hits Zombies if you play them. It's really good against them. Uh, Deep Barrier. Uh, this set kind of like outside of the trap card, these cards don't do. This doesn't do anything against Zodiac, like Zodiac monsters. They they just make Dryden. So like having this so is pretty good against them. And then against Invoked, this is also good. It was good. Oh. Uh, piece Feather Duster. Powerful. Uh, two Cosmic, the LH matchup. He's really good against them. Getting the traps out, out of the way is just nice because this banishes it, so they don't float. And then 320. All right, final thoughts on the deck. It's new, it's fresh, matchups. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's pretty good. It's just, it seems to be somewhat inconsistent at times, but, or like your plays are very weak. It's like also struggles, like it has the same problem as Eldritch. Like if you draw too many of the same cards, it kind of sucks. <laughs> But it's pretty good outside of that. It'll, right. still, it'll definitely still be playable after like Calamity gets banned. Alright, thanks. And subscribe. All right.